Just when I thought 2020 couldn't get more fucked, Netflix released Cuties, which is literally softcore child porn. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Sebastian, and I got molested when I was a kid, and now I do stand-up comedy about it. I also have a podcast where I talk about my experience and talk with other people about what they've been through. If you're old here, welcome back. Cuties is a film about an 11-year-old girl in a strict religious family who joins a dance group with other 11-year-old girls, and they all start doing the WAP. For those of you unfamiliar with WAP, it stands for Wet Ass Pussy. It's a song by Cardi B and is one of the most sexual songs and dances ever created. Here's the video. Now here's the first dancing scene in Cuties. Remember, these girls are 11, not just in the movie, but in real life. It's the exact same dance, and it gets so much worse. That should be enough right there to cancel cuties. Imagine the auditions for this movie. There were probably hundreds of 11 year old girls that came in and twerked for these directors who then picked their favorites. That is so fucked up. Imagine deliberating with your colleagues about which child twerked the best. And then imagine the actual filming of the movie. It's not like they did it all in one take and the fucking cameraman is like, yeah, we're gonna need another take on that two minute close up of this 11 year old girl's vagina. I'm showing like 10 second clips but the dance is literally last minutes. Not only has Netflix not taken it down, they're defending it as social commentary against sexualization of young children. We're so against sexualizing young children that we decided to make a movie sexualizing young children. If you're against content that sexualizes children, the worst thing to do would be to make more of it. You can get your point across without sexualizing any more kids. Here's another clip of our social commentary against sexualization of children. So Fuck shot this. You won? No, wait, who are you? Huh? So it's just bananas that this is on a major streaming platform. What's even crazier is that a lot of people like the film. The director won the World Cinema Dramatic Directing Award at Sundance, which isn't surprising because one of the co-founders of Sundance has been convicted of child abuse. Yeah, I'm sure they loved the directing. Rotten Tomatoes gave Cuties an 89%. Cuties is a coming of age film that confronts its themes with poignancy and nuance. Poignant, nuanced, pedophilia. What does that say about your ratings? What are you saving 100% for? If your reaction to this film is anything other than disgust, you have a real problem. This next clip is from a YouTuber named Mr. Girl who has openly defended cuties. You'll see um, them shaking their booties on this stairway as they make this, uh, this viral video. And um, they're pretty hot. And you know, you can say whatever you want about me. It's not my fault. I didn't make them do that. They did that. Uh, that's the point. That's the whole point of the movie. <laughs> Fucking, I, I don't even know what to say. This guy just admitted to being a pedophile. It's literally the definition of pedophile. This guy should have to be on like a pre-sex offender registry. Along with everyone else defending this movie. The only good thing about Cuties is that it's shedding light on people like Mr. Girl who think pedophilia is okay. In addition to the damage done to the girls in the movie, girls around the world are gonna see this and think, oh, if I'm willing to twerk on camera, I can be in a movie on Netflix. You're also exposing millions of adults to this content who may have never had any sort of attraction to kids before who are now starting to think about it. Your social commentary on sexualization of children is literally creating pedophiles. Not to mention the people that already know they're into kids who are in a fucking pedophile's paradise right now. You'd think in the cancel culture of 2020, this movie would have been gone in a second. And the fact that it's still up says so much about Netflix. And the number of people defending the film show that pedophilia is as big an issue as ever. That being said, I think our best defense against pedophilia is talking about it. So thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And check out my stand-up about getting molested right here. And my podcast about getting molested right here. Peace.